Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you the ideal way to ensure success for this upcoming indoor growing season. Because as the outdoor season is coming to a close, uh, the indoor season is just beginning. And so we want to do whatever we can to ensure success. Now, I'm gonna say some things about it and then I will take you downstairs and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because this comes from many years of experience. I used to live in Northern California. I grew in so many different grow rooms and spaces and environments and all of this. And uh, indoor, outdoor, uh, combinations, greenhouse, all that stuff. And this is what it boils down to. The people that fail, typically, do not have the appropriate level of control over the environment that the plants are growing in. So, in order to have success, you must be able to, to, to manipulate, fine-tune the factors that are involved with growing the plants you want to grow indoors. And that includes things like the lighting, the humidity, the heat, the airflow, uh, the uh, pest management, all of this comes into play. Now, the people that have success typically well they have many things but they also have the ability to manipulate the environment on a on a, a fine scale and that's important so how are we going to do that well we're going to begin by assessing the space that we have available now if you have a spare room or if you have a basement or a pole barn or something like that now you you have to confine your efforts you have to concentrate your efforts because to try and heat the entire room or to try and light up the entire room is going to be uh, really wasteful and ineffective so what you have to do is to consolidate your energies uh, to exactly where the plants need it now the way we used to have to do this is to go to the store and get a bunch of lumber two by fours and plywood and all that stuff and then build a room you know and, and that that was it turned a lot of people off they just ah, no, nah, just forget it and so they wouldn't they wouldn't confine the space and so they would just put things maybe in a windowsill or something and oh yeah yeah and they, they would have these kind of sickly little plants that maybe got an hour or two of sunlight who knows and they was getting hit with bone dry draft from the furnace and they just they didn't have success okay because they couldn't manipulate the environment properly. But now, what I'm about to show you has taken care of all of that. So now, we're going to set up one of these, and then we're gonna have perfect control over the environment. So let us go downstairs, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, and then we'll come back, and I'll uh, give you some, some of the best tips. Okay, so here is our starting environment, and this is the basement that I keep very cool, because it's where I keep the potatoes and the onions and garlic and all that. So this wide open space would be difficult to uh, control. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna acquire one of these tents and it will come like this, uh, packaged. The stuff will be wrapped up. It's uh, not really that heavy. You can easily lift it yourself. The bars are all numbered. All the pieces are numbered. It actually goes together very simple with these clear instructions. It's just like putting together a puzzle and the connectors are pretty well made and it's kind of foolproof you can't really set it up wrong so don't let it put you off don't don't think it's too complicated because it's actually not and my friends if you were to build a room like this out of two by fours and plywood and all that it would the cost would be uh, very high very quickly way more than one of these tents would cost plus it's so easy to assemble it took me 45 minutes to an hour uh, and I was just by myself and I only had three inches to spare on the roof and so uh, here actually though is the moment that I realized that I put the cover on upside down and so I had to uh, take it all off and do it again but that's how easy it is so here's the before the area that would be tough to heat and then now here is the after the nice confined space that has already got all the elements you need for control already thought about so the zippers are light proof uh, the reflective material on the inside helps you to get the most out of all of your lumens and the heat is going to stay within there. There's places on the uh, ceiling to hang stuff. There is uh, air inlets and air outlets. They've already thought of the places uh, th of all the little things that you will need. Plus, look at this. The lights are off in the basement, but the, the lights are still on in the grow tent. But you can't see it because I see here I unzip it and that's how there is no light leaks. So they've already thought about all of that if your plants are sensitive to photo period or whatever you're growing. So it definitely makes things a lot easier. It's not absolutely required and you might not even use all these uh, um, 
all of these features, but you have the possibility. See, it's already a screened in uh, air intake, and then this is for the air duct, the air filter, the air exchange system if you need one. So the one I just set up was four by eight by six and a half, but they come in different sizes. So this one over here where I grow the mushrooms is only three by three by six. So I laid it on its side and I'm utilizing it this way. You see how versatile they are? Now guys, is this absolutely necessary to get one of these in order to grow microgreens and mushrooms along with the channel this winter? No, it's not. We can do without, but this will ensure a much higher degree of success and it's going to create the ideal seed starting setup uh, to ensure a bountiful garden next year. So I highly suggest uh, if you want to make the small investment to uh, get one of these and to utilize what is available. See, the same tent just a few years back, I was growing uh, bok choy and spinach and cilantro and green onions. And guys, having fresh cilantro and green onions midwinter is a game changer in itself. So I'll show you guys how to do all this kind of stuff. Uh, and see here, I was just using these standard cheapo uh, shop lights. So there you have it, my friends. Self-contained, very easy to assemble, and it gives you total control over the environment. So. Although it's not 100% necessary to get one of these tents, I highly recommend it because it will give you far greater control and success this entire indoor growing season. And late winter, it will seem this setup we're building now will seamlessly transition into the ideal seed starting setup. So it's a wise investment, my friends. There's links in the description to the exact two that I have, uh, but there is also a number of different kinds. So take measurements and see what you need based upon your uh, specific area, but it's a wise investment. And guys, if you feel like you gained something from the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Whatever first thing that comes to mind, just leave the comment. And uh, check out the other links in the description so you can get your supplies, the microgreen seeds, the mushrooms, all that stuff. It's all coming. These videos are going to be starting in a couple weeks.